Indeed, the discussion on Italy is beginning here in Luxembourg today when the Eurozone finance ministers gather later today. We should expect a quite general discussion among the finance ministers. Different sources told me that we should not expect a decision on whether to open an excessive deficit procedure. And we've mentioned this process quite often, so let me explain a little bit what this is about. It's essentially a step-by-step -step approach written in the European laws that essentially monitors whether a country is actually working to reduce its high deficits and or its high public debt. And in that process, the European Commission suggests to the country uh, what sort of proposals, what sort of measures it should take in place. And then if there's no action from that member state, then indeed we could reach a level when sanctions are actually applied. But it's important to point out that right now, when it comes to Italy, we're really at stage two out of 17 possible st steps. So this means that this stage is really too early to discuss any sort of fines, any sort of uh, sanctions. And so what we can expect today is really a general discussion. Giovanni Tria, the Italian finance minister, is going to debrief the other ministers, explaining his plans for the Italian economy. And that's what we can expect from these two days of meetings here in Luxembourg. So the two biggest things to really watch when it comes to uh, to Italy right now is actually the dynamics in Rome between the two deputy prime ministers and then, of course, the market reaction. Moody said last, last, uh, last week, I should say, that market sentiment could actually be the most effective instrument in actually leading to change in policy in Italy. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.